Israeli significantly affected by the October 7 terrorist attacks are now planning to boycott a government memorial service in protest of the lack of a ceasefire deal to release hostages in Gaza. A Middle East correspondent, Eric Torchek, reports from a funeral for a hostage whose body was recently recovered from Gaza. These communities on the Gaza border bore the brunt of the October 7 attacks. And more than 10 months since that day, they're still burying their dead. Except one of these men didn't die on October the 7th. He died while being held inside Gaza. When the, when the women came back on the first or second the escape, uh, they were, they saw him. They were together with him and he was okay. He was alive. And if the Iska will go on, he would be here alive, wounded but alive. And it didn't happen. These mourners here tonight are angry that there's no deal to save the hostages who remain in Gaza. They don't want to see the Israeli military bringing home bodies. They want to see the living hostages return to their families and friends. And in that vein, the communities have decided to boycott the official government commemoration that's coming up for the one year anniversary. They say they don't want the government to be spending its effort and money memorialising these people and memorialising what happened on October the the 7th, they want that effort to go towards freeing the people who are still held in Gaza, and that will take a ceasefire. I don't believe that they really want to, to bring them back. That's what I think. But despite United States optimism over the past week, it's looking increasingly unlikely that the two sides will reach an agreement for a ceasefire. Egyptian officials, who are some of the key mediators trying to broker a deal, say one is looking increasingly unlikely. They're also unsure if proposed negotiations, which were meant to take place in Cairo by the end of the week, are going to go ahead. Hamas said Israel has imposed new conditions on the deal, and the Israeli government says it won't budge from those conditions. Without moving Movement on those key points, the chances of getting the hostages out of Gaza alive is going to diminish and the, and the number of Palestinians who are going to be killed by Israeli military strikes is going to keep rising.